my besties, how are you? If you are here for the first time, my name is Kathy and this is my DIY channel. And this is Coco, who just joined us. <laughs> um, so in today's video, I want to share with you how to decorate a table for a casual dinner party and use some lemons. Actually, I wasn't going to even do a video today because as you can see, I'm already dressed for the party. But uh, since I'm using the lemon centerpiece that I created last week, look how nicely it's lasting, by the way. Such a long lasting arrangement. If you're interested, please make sure you check that video out. And I know how much you all love that video and uh, those arrangements that I made. Everybody loves lemons. So I figured, let me record a video and show you guys how I set the table. Like I said, this is a very basic place setting. And it used to be common knowledge how to set the table. But in today's world, um, busy and fast life, it's kind of become a trick. So let me share with you how easily this could be done. So we covered the table with a tablecloth. And I like white because it goes with everything. Then if you have placemats, we're going to need those, and napkins, fork and a knife, and a dinner plate. We are serving just one course, so just one dinner plate, depending what you're serving. And also a glass for beverage. A one course dinner looks like this. Knife on the right, fork on the left, and I like to place my napkin for fun under the plate. I got these adorable napkins at Target. Look how cute with the polka dots and also with the buffalo check. Please note that the wine glass goes in the top right corner and we don't put out anything else because that would only confuse our guests. We put out the dishes accordingly to what we will be serving. And this is one course only meal. You are serving a soup and a salad. You're gonna place the salad plate on top of the dinner plate and then the soup bowl. And then you're gonna add the soup spoon on the right and a salad fork on the left. And you use your utensils from the outside in. Also, if you are serving water, you put a water glass in the top corner next to the wine glass. And if you like to add a bread plate, you put it on the top left corner with a little butter knife. And this is a very basic place setting. If you like to do the place cards, you can print the names on the computer and cut them out. Uh, what I did was uh, just use the font called Magnolia Sky. It's a very cute font. And I printed the, everybody's names and uh, created little boxes so it's easy for me to cut out perfect squares. Next, I took two real lemons, some foliage from the hedges outside, toothpicks and a little bit of tape. And what I did was attach a toothpick to the back of each little square and created little name signs. Next, I cut each lemon in four. I have uh, exactly eight people coming to dinner, so this is just perfect. And what I do is just insert the little nameplate in each uh, little wedge. What do you guys think? Cute idea? Next, I placed one wedge on each plate and added a little bit of greenery for color and I think it looks so cute that way. Actually, this one was a little bit too big. <laughs> Let me change it. I think it looks perfect that way. And this is how it looks. Do you like it? I think it's very cute and it's also practical because that lemon wedge could be later used in a glass of water or even sprinkled on the food. Next, you're gonna need a centerpiece for your table. And as you know, I'm gonna be using one that I already created. I'll link it for you at, above. 
In addition, I'm going to take some lemons and some more green foliage from different hedges growing around my house. Uh, could be any leaves that resemble the lemon leaves and also white flowers. Daisies are perfect because they have a yellow in the middle, so it, they coordinate beautifully. Please make sure that your centerpiece is not too tall because you don't want to obstruct the view of the guests uh, sitting across from each other. And then, as you see, I'm just spreading the green foliage all, all around the centerpiece, adding two halves of lemons on each side and uh, some of those daisies on each side. I think that's so cute. Uh, you can use as much or as little as you have and like, okay? Uh, just uh, make sure there's room on your, on your table for other items too. Uh, like I like to keep my food on the table, so. <laughs> and this is uh, how it looks. I think it comes out adorable. And also remember about the candles. They create a special mood. So add them on both sides of the centerpiece. And I just had an idea. My napkins came tied with a black ribbon. I think it's gonna um, highlight the black and white uh, colors in my napkins wonderfully. So I decided to use them to decorate the table. I'm cutting each ribbon in um, four pieces. And since I have two sets, I'm gonna have eight, just enough for the whole table. In addition, I have this black and white ribbon that I bought previously at the Amazing Savings Store. And I'm gonna cut eight pieces, just about the same length as the black ribbon. Next, I pinch the black ribbon and tie a little bow with the, with the two ribbons. It's like a little bow tie. Next, I fold each bow tie in a V shape and place it on top of the greenery. Uh, do you see how it brings out the colors in my napkins? I think it's perfect. I think that's what exactly has been missing. It really highlights each plate. I love it. And later on, it can be just moved on the side of the plate and continue to decorate the table. What do you think? Do you like it? Because I love it. I think it is the cherry on the top. Are you wondering what we're having for dinner? <laughs> I just baked the ham with the honey and orange glaze. And my mom brought her coleslaw, the best coleslaw in the world. I made some cucumbers with sour cream and dill and just mashed potato, very simple dinner. And like I already mentioned, we like to have our food out on the table. We are Polish and that's what we do. We have the food out on platters and we help each other out throughout the dinner. And looks like Coco is ready. She smelled the ham and she wants a piece of it too. And this is my little nephew, Tommy. He loves Coco so much. And please notice that a pitcher of water with lemon and mint also adds to the decor. And I am so happy that the place card holder is so practical. Well, should be a different glass though. <laughs> Na zdrowie, which means cheers to your health. After dinner, I take away the dirty plate and bring smaller plates for dessert. I put out a fork for the cake and a small teaspoon for coffee. The coffee cup goes in the top right corner, just like so. I'm actually taking the plates for a moment to cut the cake. And today's cake is the Jello yogurt cake, which requires no baking and is so delicious we call it broken glass. 
and you can check out the recipe uh, up on my channel. I'm going to link the video for you down below. It is so good and healthy for you too. Delicious. And children prefer the ice cream, so I got them watermelon roll. It is like watermelon and lemon sorbet with some chocolate chips. It is so delicious. I wonder if you guys tasted it before, if you like it. Let me know. All right, my friends, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. If you happen to decorate your table with lemons, please uh, follow me on Facebook and share your pictures with me. I would love to see that. Nothing makes me happier. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye guys. Uh, Matching with my napkins. <laughs> um, watching too much DIYs. <laughs>